All right, this is gonna be probably the most worked on video I've ever done yet. It's like taking me like four days or so to compile some stuff, but this is gonna be the Shadow Hall video, and I'm going to be discussing a few things. The first thing is how Shadow Hall kind of works, the ins and outs of not the mechanics itself, but how you can go to do Shadow Hall, what it gives and whatnot. Basically how the mechanic works, kind of like challenge mode in a sense. And I'll go into that. Uh, after that, I'm going to go more into the shop. And then after that, I'm going to go more into the gear. Now, the first thing I want to explain is a few things. What, what are the key points of Shadow Hall? So the, the first thing is it's kind of similar to challenge mode where you get one key daily, but unlike ch ch challenge mode, you get three keys max, and you get one key daily. So the fact that you only get one key daily and three keys max of holding, you want to make sure you use the these keys daily so that they do not cap out, or else you'll miss out on rewards. And that's a big thing. Because you really don't want to miss on these rewards. Now, what do the keys do? So, in Shadow Hall, there are... Or Shadow Palace, whichever one you want to call that. There are halls, in a sense. Each hall contains five bosses that you must attempt to defeat. And these five bosses, each separate boss has a different law. A different rule in a sense, where it will restrict you, buff you, or do whatever that that specific boss wants you to do. So, if there's one hall, and each hall has five bosses, and one key unlocks one hall, and mind you, it's not permanent, as one key gives you three lives. If you fail to kill a boss, that is one life taken off. Once you have lost all three lives you have to restart so this is how the continuous um the continuous uh grind of this mode begins so at the end of all of this once you have finished all the halls and stuff all the bosses you're gonna do the latest boss or the latest hall as it is the highest level and the highest reward the reason being is that the shadow halls do not reset so you're always going to get one key daily you are always going to get there, there's no gonna there's not going to be a maximum cap on keys uh increasing in a sense so it's always going to have three keys max and currently there's only four halls in taiwan and there's five halls for Korea. So, at the moment, in C, we don't have any. But once it does come out, we might have three or we might, we might have four. So that's going to be like 15, 20 bosses. Remember, only one key can access one hall. Once you use that key, it is used up. You get three lives and you have three lives for the remainder of that hall. Or if you die, three times. Now... The biggest thing about that is that once you finish that hall, you can move on to the next one. And like I said, once you're finished with all the halls, you want to keep using the daily keys you get to continuously grind the next boss, the next hall, or the latest hall. So you can keep grinding those green materials. The most important rewards of Shadow Hall is those green materials. You can see that there's not much re uh, rewards at all. They just look mediocre. What you grind in Shadow Hall is primarily those green mats. Now, hopefully you guys uh, understood that part of Shadow Hall in a sense. It's kind of weird how it works, but it's pretty straightforward once you understand. Um, but once we are moving on to the shop, we have a few things that I will want to, like to mention. Uh, 
the the shop does reset in a sense where certain things will reset some things might not there's some stuff i wrote down on the right side of the screen so per month we have some set binaries and there's 50 of them and it only costs 20 of those green materials each then per week we have 30 tuning binaries infinitely we have tier 4 gear fodder we have some crafting materials and the standard t6 molds usually you never want to buy these the molds i would like to say are always tier 6 so this is always end game gear but the rarity is always common rare super rare or ssr now there's one exception to this there is a one of one tier six mode that causes 120 of these green materials and this will be around sr or ssr rarity guaranteed but there's only one of them otherwise you are buying 75 percent off tier six modes for 15 times that's the first priority as you can see there, I wrote some numbers to show you the priority of the shop. Then there are 50% off tier 6 modes at 15 times. That's the fourth priority. There are 50 out of 50 set binaries for the second priority. 30 out of 30 tuning binaries for the third priority. That's my personal kind of uh, list for priorities. But I would definitely recommend getting those uh, percentage offs because the has uh, a pretty good discount, not gonna lie. But other than that, that's pretty much up the shop. Uh, and it will be moving on to gear. Now, moving on to a few things. Um, there is some gear that I would like to show you guys. Uh, I don't have the exact creatures for now, but honestly, the pictures don't really matter that much. The things you guys do want to look at are the substats, am I right? There are sets and the substats. So here it shows the sets of the gears. So Shadow Hall gear or Spectral gear is different from regular gear or exclusive gear. They only have six sets, completely different. So the first thing I want to point out is that you cannot use Spectral gear with exclusive gear. It will not mix well you might be able to maybe switch it with like two spectral one exclusive one maze but honestly it's not worth it it is absolutely not worth it that way the biggest thing i want to point out is that cdr is the most useless one of spectral gear i want to put a lot of emphasis on that why is cdr useless i thought it was the best stat ever it's because it doesn't work with this gear. The biggest thing that I want to point out is that you can you have a CDR set of four of four at the bottom right there. It's Spectral Spirit. The reason why Spectral Spirit is the worst one is because there's two there's there's usually two stats that are that are in these sets the first one as you can see that everything has all these sets have is attack percent attack percent up by 16 percent that is four out of four and you get 12 percent cdr for spectral spirit that's low and here's the thing here's the reason why it's not good it's because the weapon cannot roll a skill substat a skill haste substat is not possible to roll on the weapon so, are you rolling Spectral Spirit trying to build a skill haste build for just that extra 16% attack set? It's not worth it. It's really not. You don't get any ground damage for this. You don't get any skill haste for this. You can get maybe like a max of... What? 40% maybe? Skill haste? It's not worth it. It's not. Now, moving on to that, there are a few other things that i want to point out you can ignore crit damage for the same reason of cdr there's no reason to even Xiaolin has an exclusive and she can't even use this there's dodge no don't just don't 
it's not worth it. And then there's three of these sets that are actually usable. Honorable mention being Spectral Chain. It can be used as a substitute for Spectral Bullet. The best one, all of all of these three, is Spectral Blaze. The reason being, you get 16% attack and 8% attack speed. You get 4 of 4 attack speed. This is pretty good. For a set that's very common, it's not as limited as Maze Gear. And honestly, with your Maze Gear, most of the time, it's going to be running CDR for counters. Now for mechs, it could be CDR or HP defense. Uh, for soldiers, it's probably one CDR and pretty much everything else is maze gear attack speed. But not all your soldiers can get maze gear. So what do you want to do? Spam the ever-living shit out of Spectral Blaze. Spectral Bla Blaze is literally used on almost every single mech that uses Spectral Gear. Attack speed is heavenly for them. After that, you have soldiers. Then after that, you have a few counters. Honestly, for counters, there's not really much counters that use Spectral Gear, surprisingly. Unless you're using it for PvE. For counters, there's only a few people that use Spectral Blaze. Honestly, I can only think of one right now. But that's Amina. Spectral Blaze for Amina. Does not use Maze Gear. It is 16% attack and 8% attack speed. It's pretty good for Amina. Now, after that, there's Spectral Bullet. Why is hit rate good? Why is Spectral Bullet the second best out of all these? The best answer that I've received from all these KR and Taiwanese players, dodging sucks. Hit rate sucks. It boosts up the hit rate, right? So here, here's the real question. There's two out of two for hit rate. Guess what you're running on Rosaria? Two plus two attack. Okay. That's 10% attack plus 10% attack. Oh, but then you look at Spectral Bullet. 10% attack and 10% hit rate. Twice. You're getting an extra 20% hit rate. For using Spectral Gear. Wow, you're getting the same amount of attack, but extra 20% hit rate for Rosaria or anyone that wants to use this. Pendragon would really appreciate this. For something that could be tier 6 SSR gear without using maze at all. Without having to waste your maze gear on these useless sets. That's amazing. So that's the reason why Spectral Bullet is there. That's Rosaria's BIS and all the other stuff. But yeah, Spectral Blade Blaze is pretty much the most, the, the best set, really. So that is the set. Now, moving on to the substats. So for option one for Spectral Gear, uh, this is typically called the racist gear in Taiwan servers. But basically, it is anti-striker, anti-ranger, anti-defender, and anti-sniper. It can go up to 14%. And typically, what you want to run on a Mina is basically, you know, anti-striker or anti-ranger, right? Or anti-sniper. Usually anti-striker or sniper, because you can usually kill rangers in, like, one shot. Now, for Rosaria, this is why Rosaria in PvP meta is basically now resorted to a... Not as a main DPS role, but more of a support role in the sense of, I'm going to play Rosaria to counter whatever's meta this week. Oh, it's a Yuna? A Yumina? A shit ton of strikers? I'm gonna go full anti-striker on her. That's why this set is so good for Rosaria or Pendragon or Amina is because they can focus down on a specific type of class and just straight up kill them. That's why Rosaria is meant to be a I don't like this unit during this meta. Let's kill them. Kind of unit in future meta now moving on we have option two for the weapon there is attack speed on the weapon 4.7 percent this is why it's pretty good for those attack speed characters you have speed you have crit damage anti-ground damage and anti-air damage most important ones obviously are anti-ground damage and attack speed then we have armor 
we have the crit res, CC res, air damage res, defender res, sniper damage res, ranger res, striker res, ground damage res, CDR. Obviously, the most important one here is the ground damage res or specific class res. Honestly, armor is just situational. But with how you want to use the gear here in terms of units, it's probably going to be crit res or ground damage res, specifically for soldiers, counters, and mechs. Which soldier uses CDR that's using full attack speed right now? You got to think to yourself, what are you trying to build on these characters? CDR is, like I said, not the move this time. As you can see, I labeled it in a sense at the top picture right there. So you can look at that. Accessory is the most filled one. It's pretty much everything combined. You have crit res, CDR, anti-ground damage, anti-air damage, striker damage res, ranger res, sniper res, defender res, air damage res, ground damage res, CC res, and crit damage. Obviously, again, most important one is probably going to be your anti-ground damage, crit res, or ground damage res. Or if you want to be more tanky towards that specific unit type. But yeah, that's pretty much my uh, miniature guide of Shadow Hall. It's more of a sneak peek of what you are going to get. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, dislike, subscribe, share the video, please. I hope this helps all you guys. Because I know a few of you guys were looking forward to this uh, content. So hopefully this helped. I'll see you guys later.